Hey, Colin Hiles here, AKA The Mindset Guy with today's training video, which is gonna be actually part one of a two-part series around personal empowerment. And the first one, this one, is called How to Tap Your True Power. And next week's video will be called How to Empower Yourself Now. So, the first thing I want to do is check out what's the meaning of this word power. So. I had a look in the Oxford uh, Dictionary and it says, power, the ability or capacity to do something or act in a particular way. Secondly, the capacity or ability to direct or influence the behavior of others or the course of events. So keep that in mind as I take you through this model here. So. Firstly, over here we have my life, what I call my life bubble. All of us are living in a bubble, right? And that bubble is made up of people, places, things, and events. It's our reality. We're each living in our reality of things, right? So first question I want to ask you is, what would you say are the core powers that you have that supply all the other powers? If you wanted to power up, where would you put your focus and attention? Now, when I ask that question in front of audiences, most of the time, people haven't got a clue. But what's also interesting is when I share our four core powers, they're very quick to dismiss it because of its simplicity. So what are these four core powers? Well, firstly, we have two powers that sit inside us, that are hidden, that are in our private world. So they're two private powers. And secondly, we have two powers that are more public, which are seen more in the external world. And through these four powers, we're, we're if you like, connecting with this reality and reacting and responding and influencing it all of the time. So let's go into these core powers in a little bit more detail and understand what are they. So let's look at the, the personal or private powers first. So first one is thinking, the second one is feeling. Now thinking and feeling is what makes up our central or core engine. It's these two that really make someone's personality, thinking and feeling. And they're really, it's not thinking and feeling, it's thinking, feeling. They're really connected as one. They're always interplaying with each other. When you affect one, you affect the other, no matter which, which end you start at, whether you start by changing a feeling or whether you start by changing a thinking. So that's our personal or private. Now let's look at our public powers. What are our public powers? Well, our public powers are speaking and behaving. So these can be seen and by the world, by others, and through our speaking and behaving, we're influencing our reality. But it's our thinking feeling that is influencing our speaking behaving, which is influencing the reality that we operate in. So I like to call these four core powers our power zone, right? Our power zone. And second question, big question, why are they our power zone? What would you say to that? Well, the answer is, is because we're in complete control of all of those. They're the only things we're in complete 100% control of. And when you look at response ability, the ability to respond at what life or the world is throwing at us, it comes from these four powers. And as I said in my last video, and I said three of the biggest lies that we live, when we use the word make, she makes me, he makes me, it makes me, it's not possible for anyone to make us anything, to think a certain way or feel a certain way. That is always our personal choice. That's when we're really living within our power zone, when we're choosing rather than reacting from autopilot, so to speak. So our power zone. So let me just conclude this first video with maybe a couple of stories to bring this alive so you can see. So let's take 
uh, I'm going to call this individual Dan, right? Dan is pretty hooked on, on gambling. And when we have a look at what's going on here to see how this works. So firstly, he thinks an awful lot about gambling. He gets that, that buzz feeling every time he thinks about putting down a bet. So he talks about gambling with a lot of people that he interacts with who are also gamblers, right? He walks into a betting shop a lot or he gets online a bet. So his behaving is consistent with the way he's thinking, feeling, speaking. So he goes to these places called betting shops um, he experiences lots of events where he has no money because he's spent it all. So his bank account is pretty empty, right? Most of his money is spent on gambling. So you can see how by thinking, feeling, speaking and behaving consistently, it's going to create a certain reality for Dan. Well, let's take... Um, Let's take Jane. Jane, uh, I'm sorry, they, these aren't their real names, but Jane has recently started her, her own alternative therapy practice. So she has a little shop that she's opened. So she ser first started thinking a lot about this and it really connected with some strengths and passions that she had and she knows there's a need for this type of work um, out there in the world. She She's, she feels excited by starting her own business and, and also scared, has to be said. So it's an interesting one, but she knows that the scared is really more about old baggage coming up and, or being prepared more than anything else. So she talks a lot about this new business and she's building this business by behaving every single day. Right, people that are coming into her, her little practice are obviously looking for what it is that she's talking about. Um, she's got her own little practice. She sees many events as opportunities rather than um, you know bad. Um, and she's had you know a couple of hurdles that she's had to, to to really get over in order to get this little practice underway. One of them getting the financial backing, um, and obviously she's got you know she's doing things and she has things in her life as a result of that. What about, um, let's talk about, I'll make up a name for this person, Betty, right, <laughs> Betty. So Betty is um, quite a lot overweight, uh, not far off of uh, double the weight that she should be. So you can imagine, pretty big. Thinks a lot about food. Never really, by her words, never really leaves her mind. She's always thinking about food. Food is always on her mind from the moment she wakes up to the moment she goes to bed, right? She doesn't really feel too good about herself. There are her words, not mine. So food becomes the comfort. Food becomes the number. Food becomes uh, the self-medication then. So she talks about food quite a lot with other individuals. Um, she obviously puts things in her mouth, so she's behaving a certain way a lot every single day. So what is her reality? Where well, her reality is the weight and shape that she has, um, the events that she experiences, which are all around food at the end of the day, right? The places that she goes in order to get that, that addiction met, and that's the reality that she lives. So to conclude then, if you think about it for a second, there's only really a few things to think about. Firstly, if these are our four core powers, what are we doing, what are you doing every single day to get more mastery over them? Or do you give these powers away and let the outside world control you? And maybe lastly, how do you build these core powers? And if you have a look at all my videos, almost every single video that I've created can be linked back to either helping us think better and different, to create better and different out here, or to get control of our emotions more, so that rather than our emotions being affected by the outside world, we're more in control of them, or controlling our speaking, the words that we use. So you'll see some videos specifically around that, like stop complaining will be one of those videos. And then our behavior, 
altering our behaviour. Because if we alter any one of these, then we make a change. A change in our four core powers means a change out here. So I'm going to stop there. And as you know, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to give me some instant feedback. One being not very good, 10 being really enjoyed. It's got me thinking. And be, get ready for next week's video, which is going to be how to empower yourself using these. I'm going to give you a little mind trick that you can play. It is so powerful if you play the game. And you, it is a game and you've got to play the game. So if you're on my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, which I think is down there. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Hold on. Now, did you enjoy that video? Well, if you did, I would like to show you how you can train your mind to perform how you want it to so that you can break through to the next level with my advanced mind power training. It's totally free and you can get it by going to www.advancedmindpowertraining.com or clicking on the link below this video. I'll see you on the next video.